welcome to the Pillow Talk Podcast. I am G. This is my lovely wife, Lita. Hello. Welcome back. Um, welcome again. Uh, I hope you guys liked our last episode. <laughs> and we're just keeping that same vibe going. You know, the last time we talked about dating, a little bit about marriage, um, but this time we're going to talk about expectations uh, for friends and for family. Yes. This is going to be a very, uh, I say a sensitive topic because we both have expectations that we have for our family and friends that maybe might not have been met. And how we deal with it is, you know, an ongoing thing, but it's a learning experience. So I went last time, right? Did I ask? No, I asked the question to you. So that means you got to ask me the question now. Ha 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 ha. Okay, well, I mean. And one day we're gonna uh, be on the same side. Do you like to look cute, baby? Like, I'm gonna be on your side, you on my side. I mean, it's fine. That's fine. It, you know. It, How y'all like our setup, man? We gonna got, you know, we can do some easy stuff and we got a spice up. We got a bank up coming in tomorrow. And, uh, uh-huh. yeah, we got the little flashing thing so we <laughs> know what the, uh, our topic is. Yeah. So, yeah, um,. Got the family and the friends up there. Okay, come on. Yeah, so we trying to see, you know, <laughs> trying to build an audience and, you know, trying to build a a, a, a constant thing up. So uh, while we're recording this one, we're probably trying to, you know, upload another one. So we're trying to keep up the content. Uh, it just, we have to, we, we have limited time with kids. So yes. we had to rush everything. So we had to go get our kids in the bed and mm-hmm. make sure everybody's fed. Yeah, we finally here. Uh, as you cannot see, Toledo is a little bit spicy with me, but that's good though. We need this conversation. Um, we'll probably add a little bloopers <laughs> in and see why she's mad at me later. But, uh, right now, let's get into it. So it's your turn. I'm not going first. Ladies first. Well, uh, what? So with the question or the top five expectations? Now let's go ahead and get into the uh, general question, I guess. This is oh. the general question. Okay, well, um, how do you address somebody about your expectations of them? And this could be for like friends, this could be for family, but like, how would you address that person? Well, like, what do I expect them out of them as like, yeah, as a friendship? Mm -hmm. Okay, as far as friends-wise, um, big on loyalty. Like, you got to be, I, I'm going to be honest, all the friends that I've had, we've almost got into a fight. Like, <laughs> we got to beef a little bit before. That's honestly, yeah. We, we got to beef a little bit before I know I can even be on that level <laughs> with you. Because if you soft, I'm most likely you, you not, you're not messing with you. But most of my friends, like literally from high school, middle school, elementary, my closest friends, like we've actually got this close, or even we might have fought, we've gotten this close to fighting, and it was like, all right, some miraculous happened, <laughs> and then we just end up being friends. So even to this day, I have a limited amount of, I mean, I have a whole bunch of friends that, you know, call, uh, borderline associates, but my I got a handful of like real friends. So r- loyalty. Loyalty, it, it goes a long way. Like if I can't, if I can't trust, I don't know about this all this new stuff. Well, I love my, I love my, and I don't know all about all that. But if you got some loyalty and, and we can break some bread together, then yeah, I, I can do with that. Yeah. So that that's at a friend. Now family, I, I'm not gonna talk about that, but just family, I just want y'all to really basically, like you know, give us space, a little space from th- a family, like. <laughs> I know we do all the family reunions and everything, but after that, I need that space. Don't call me next weekend with the next plans. Like, I expect space from family. So we can leave that. How do you tell them? How do you tell them you need space? I don't tell them nothing. I just don't answer the phone. <laughs> like, if you have a social media, I'm very active on social media. If you really want to know what I'm doing, there you go. But I'm not answering that phone. Unless it's like, an emergency and then most of my emergencies come through my parents so 
If they ain't told me something wrong with y'all, don't expect me to answer the phone if I'm busy because I'm either doing this, I'm trying to, I'm either doing her, like I, I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to be answering the phone, just be talking, so yeah. the space is very good with them. So you feel like for your personal expectations is boundaries. Boundaries, most likely. And yeah. loyalty for friends, really, but for like family is boundaries. Yeah, that breaking bread and fighting thing is very, yeah, we got to get that in before we even talk about some friendship. Do you feel like they supposed to know that they supposed to no. be loyal? Like how you, how they know you want them to be loyal? I went, I went to PV. It's a lot of people at PV. I went to Skyline, one of the biggest schools. Like I got a handful of friends and that's just how it rocks. Like it takes a lot to even be my friend like that. Like I said, we got a lot it of- It take time. It take time and yes. like I said, we got to fight, bro. We got to fight. <laughs> I, I mean, we got to, so I mean, yeah, it either goes one way or the other. I'm, I'm good with, you know, cutting friends off. That ain't nothing to me. Yeah, yeah cause if you mess with my piece, I can't mess with you anyways. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's off top. Yeah, real stuff. Ooh, okay, I love me some peace, okay? Well, everything in our house is for comfort. So uh, if you messing up my comfort, we can't get down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Let me see, do I have another question? Um. How would you approach, approach a conversation where you was disappointed in somebody? And it could be for friends, it could be for family, but how would you, or do you feel like this is something that you still working on? I'm a Virgo, so we don't do that waiting on nothing. Like, it's it's off top with us. So if you, if, if, you, if you, if I expected something at you and you failed me, I'm letting you know as soon as it happened. Like, I'm gonna be petty, but that's what it is. I'm gonna be petty because I, I don't ask my friends much. I don't ask my friends really nothing. So when I ask you one thing, that means I honestly really needed your help. And if you couldn't come through for that one thing, then the next time you need me, best believe you going on ghost because I'm having that same energy. Like, my, my, I, Honestly, probably my friends ask me more advice and stuff like this side stuff. They ask me more than I ever asked them. So when I ask you and you say, okay, from junk, I'm running with that. So anything after that, is, and you be like, oh man, I know you had, you was depending on me, but I can't, I won't ever call you again. And that just happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, you know, I'm working on it. You know, that's, that's, that's kind of hard but at the same time i completely get that because and you know i put that down as one of my expectations like it's the follow through you know what i'm saying like yeah because you don't ask i know personally you don't ask your friends for really nothing no so and they call like, you for everything i ask you for and i don't like asking people for stuff because like while everybody was out of college and things like that like i didn't have that opportunity so like i it's always been me working hard for the things that i needed to work hard for so like i'm used to doing you know things by myself so even with like being married, like Jamal have to say like open your mouth and say what you you know, but I don't I'm, read and, I'm, work, <laughs> and I'm working on it, but like if I ask you for something, it's like it's important. And then it's like if I'm disappointed, it's like the one time I asked you, you know. So I, I feel you with that. Yeah. Yeah. What else you got over there? No, you good. No. All right, while yeah. we got this inter uh, this in between right quick, I want to holler at my boy Lone Star J. Oh. We talked about it uh, earlier today. I didn't let you know, but he okay. is uh, he is uh, offering us to add instrumentals. So if we have the instrumentals in this video going, it'll definitely be from his catalog. Okay. Please go holler at my boy. He has the hot beats. He also can hop on the track with the verses. Yeah. Best believe because that's another topic we're going to talk about because he used to be my producer. What? Yeah, I used to be rapping. <laughs> <laughs> that's Trigger a whole nother. Play. Right? Come on now. So anyways, y'all, anyway. before Trey songs, I had triggered and that little light-skinned motherfucker went on and did some other shit. Now, like, look at this. 
But anyway, that is a whole nother story. That's we'll get into nother. that. Uh, but yes, please holler at my boy Longstar J. You can follow him on all his Instagram, Shout out YouTube, uh, Spotify. He has that hot fire out right now. Yeah. So yeah, please holler at him. That's Appreciate it, Joe. Uh, all right, so we're gonna switch over to my questions. Ready? Anyways, all right, so, uh, let's start with general question. Um, what's two things you never expect a friend to do that you feel like can never be fixed? Yeah, I went deep with it. That's why I pull out my phone, because I get way deeper with my phone on you know, paper. I, I write big. Two things, yeah. Remember or give me one thing. Or one, give me something you never expected a friend to do that you feel like can never be fixed. Man, is this a hypothetical question or this is, is a very something hypothetical that I have pick. been through? It could be something you've been through, be, be with or without me or before me. Uh, I mean, this is an open conversation, whatever you feel like. This is the general question, so you can I speak. I don't know. The first thing I think about is sleeping with my man. Like, I mean, he's going that way. Like, Leo, like, Leo, always going for the negative. I feel you though. You ain't got to worry I about it. I keep parking that. And she got that thing on me. She I keeps the glizzy. John Morant type shit. You feel it me? <laughs> John Morant, get your shit together, bro. Like, I know we talking about something like, bro, get your shit together. Play basketball. Why you wanna be gangster? Like, anyway, yeah. Bro. Oh my god, you get Get a better, get better circle. Your friends are letting you down, bro. Give me the ball. God dang. Like y'all the same body. Let's give her the ball. I, we don't even want the whole shot. Like, bro, your you sister, your sister is doing better than you right now because you want to be a gangster. Who, who are you? I'm telling you right now, I don't want to be gangster. I want to be wealthy. Thank you. And he is that. So I don't see why you took it. And Usher, daddy, uh, your Usher, daddy, and your Usher, whatever you want to call him, daddy Usher, uh, John Moran, daddy Usher, whatever your name is, help your son out. Anyways, the second question. Had to get that off my chest. I've been watching ESPN all day. Anyway. Alright, so who was the most critical about you dating me after family and was it expected? Who was the most critical about me? I know you had some haters because you got your people from Oak Cliff. So I know all, they hate you. First of all, and I just had this conversation. The thing was, it's not like they hated you, it's the fact that my family. I don't bring people around my family. You know, I barely bring friends around, let alone people I'm dating. So, like, they gonna be critical of everybody if I bring you around here. You know? But, like... It was mutual, because I didn't want to go My, the my father was the type of person he needed to know everybody I knew. So, you know, hey, but, like, cool, my though. family? All right, people. No. Like, I just told my grandmother, like, y'all wouldn't have known nobody. <laughs> for what? What y'all need to know them for? Yeah, but since, since your granny met me, she won't leave me alone, so. Yeah, my granny got a crush on him and his dad is weird, but anyway. Um, I'm hot out here. I'm hot. What was the question? It was, who was the most critical about you Who was me? the most critical? Mm -hmm. It was my mother. I knew it. It was my mother it. because my mother was a little bit obsessed with my ex and she had a little bit of colorism going on where she didn't want me to date a darker skinned male how do i know because it happened before where i dated somebody and she met and was like he black <laughs> But my mother is darker. That's than what I was about to say. Your mama was brown skin. She's brown skin. So that was a really hard conflict for me. For me to bring somebody that I like to you and then you shut him down based on appearance and you didn't even try to get to know him. That was like, it was hurtful, you know, to be truthful. But, you know, in the end, you know, my mother passed, but that was seven years ago. But still, like, in the end, she started to try to accept 
things. Like, she came to me one day and was like, I get why you're with Jamal. Like, he do take care of you. And, you know, maybe it is how it's supposed to be where a light-skinned person is with a darker-skinned person. <laughs> it was random. But the fact that she even said that it was like, Duh, like it was so stupid, really. Because that's the, just that's just the old way. Of it's thinking, the old way of thinking. But my mother was a brown skin, uh, not like my husband color, but she's like a dark brown skin woman, and she dated nothing but yellow niggas. Yeah. <laughs> it was so stupid. Fact. My daddy was like, you know, her boyfriend was like, it was like so stupid, but. That's the answer. So. Yeah, my mom was dark skin and she married a light skin to Puerto Rico. Ah, there goes another bling bling bling. Yeah, I'm Puerto Rico. So, like yeah. the, she uh, likes high them. Yellow. Say them high yellow looks. That do that do cocaine. Hey, she that's, got it. That's it. She loved uh, it. Was it the bars or Bruno bars? Yeah, that's yeah. Sunny Alpha uh, General Hospital. That's that's her. That's her flavor. Yeah, she loved him. I don't know why, but I hope it ain't the same. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna ask him any questions. Yeah. But, yeah, but I, on a flip though, like my daddy, like when he he met you, like y'all just clicked. It was just so cool. Can we, he was just cool. And it was cute too, yeah. you know. But like they clicked and like. I ain't gonna lie, he like, you could tell he was hell back on the day though. He was he, yeah. Hey boy, so. But he was just like ever since like day one when he met you, I was like, the high husband though. He was he would never say and if he did say Jamal, he would say it wrong. He'd be like, How Jamal doing? <laughs> <laughs> but it was always like, How your husband doing? And this was way before we even got married. It was just, you know, it was special. Like he had your bag outside. Yeah, he even got he, I even had conversations with him when you like, hey, give me give me the phone. You talking like, hey, I just wanna make sure that you you take care of my boot. You make sure that you take care of her and you right by her don't hit on her i ain't hit on her i got you back no, it's not. and then uh yeah it was just this same conversation though but i was like bro i got you you ain't got to worry about <laughs> it she good in my hands and yeah. i guess ever since then we've been good even like i said when you pass both parents, both your parents passed we, we've always been good I've, I've always been there i've yeah. you know yeah i, I, I went it, i've even went the extra mile like even going because you know me being a mortician i was actually get the inside details so and that was yeah that was a that was a blessing yeah. so. it was not even only like, this ain't even got nothing to do with none of this but like not only that like when i wasn't able to go visit my daddy one time like i asked him more and he went up there for me that was like big to me for you to go in there and be like Checking on my my father, you know, checking on my father. Shout out to Paradise Funeral Home. They, I, those are my people. So I was, like I said, I was blessed to work there at the time and able to go in there and make sure everything's okay. So yeah, yes, yeah. I love that funeral home. Yeah. Flip note. One, one more. Long. I got but one like, more question. Oh. One more question. What What you got? Hold on. It's still. I ain't up? got no questions. I was just gonna go to the top five. But go well, ahead. One more. It's, it's, it's real quick. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Did your friends expect us? We can get through this real quick. It ain't gotta be long. Did, no, you, did your friends expect us to last this long, knowing the history of my past and the story you heard? No. Plain and simple. <laughs> no. no. I didn't expect this shit to last as long as it did. I mean, to be honest, because I was just like, this nigga. Out there. He gonna make me stab somebody. Yeah, and even how we met was on some old type stuff, so, yeah. 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 <laughs> but, you know, like, we just clicked. And I kept it honest. I mean, was like, so I was in a, ugly. I was really, I was in a real sticky situation, but I was on the end of the sticky, sticky. Situation. Like, I see, was like, like y'all have things. to understand, like, I came from dating someone who was like, you had to like dig for answers and stuff. Like, I ain't nobody got time for that. Like, I ain't got time to be trying to figure out what all this shit is. Like, I'm not, I can't even figure out what all my shit is. Hidden agenda. You know what I'm saying? So if somebody can just be like, this is what it is. I do like you. <laughs> I hope this work because I want this to work. Shit, that's all I needed to know. Like, if you want this to work and your actions 
follow through. You got me. And that's what it was. It was all that, but a major thing. Yeah, but yeah. Yes. I just, like I said, I, I was at the end of the sticky situations that I was left PV for. So it's like, bro, I have nothing to lose. I have, I have my own shit. So it's like, why would I lie to you to impress you? Like, when you met me, I had my own apartment, my own car, my own job. I was working a good ass job. I was working at downtown Mohawk. So I had the money. So it was like, at this point, it was like, I, I was at a cool part of my life. Like, I'ma just chill and enjoy this money. And I was here. impressed by that, like, for me to meet somebody who was working by, you know, paying his own bills, not, you know, just like, leaning on people for stuff and, it was just, you know, I was like, okay, he got his stuff together, you know. He he knows how to, you know, provide, you know, and then um, some other things. And I was just like, hmm, okay. I'll work there. Yeah. All right, so now we can get into the top five. Wow, well, do we need a whole top five? I mean, not necessarily. Do you have top five over there? I have more than five. Okay, so I'll do top five because I can come up real fast. No, I'm do gonna yours. Say, I'm going to say something. Do yours too. Do your two top five. I did mine first last time. It's all on you now. Mm, okay. So I have like my personal top five expectations. I'm sure yours may be different. Um, but. I just put be mindful of somebody feelings. You know what I'm saying? This is for family. Like, your family, like, at least you can do is just be kind to that person. You can be cruel to everybody else. <laughs> you know? And be there for them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you may not be at every event 100,000%, but, like, try to be there for them. Like, Try to put in the effort. That goes for family and friends. That goes for family and friends. It's yeah. just the some try. sometimes in some situations your friends are your family. So true. Yeah. True. It's just a try. You know what I'm saying? Because I know everybody's not gonna meet your expectations. That's life. Because you know, for one, people put high expectations on certain people, and people put lower expectations on others. You know, so everybody's not gonna meet that. And sometimes you put too high of an expectation on somebody, you're going to lead into disappointment off top. Especially if you know damn well they're not going to meet nobody's expectation. Yeah, because rarely is your energy going to match. Yeah. And then I said, ooh, take me for who I am now and not who I used to be. Let me tell you. Son, you boy. When you get married... <laughs> People be like putting in you in this little box that you didn't even ask to be in. Like, like as soon as you got married, all the fun just came out your ass or something. Like you, you know what I'm no saying? <laughs> like, God, dog, I'm married. I'm not uh, blind. I'm not uh, capable of doing fun shit. I'm not too. <laughs> like it's a whole list of shit. But like it's just crazy how when you get married it does change a lot. That ain't even happening with my side. And it, 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 you don't even be expecting it. You be like, damn, like did I do something wrong? Like it's just you say somebody get married, boy, people just just turn the other cheek on your ass. Them club invitations go down. <laughs> them bar bar in the middle of the day. I mean, that's down. that's cool. I'm I'm used to it now, but you just be prepared if that's something you want in your life. I always just get that. Oh, <laughs> uh, I be like, damn, bro, you went out to the club or you went out to the to the strip and you ain't invite me. Oh, bro, you married? Like, what the fuck that guy doing? Yeah, like, yeah, like, bro. Oh, it, before we got married, y'all wasn't fucking nothing in this club. So what is different? <laughs> What's the difference now? <laughs> Shit, bro. Like, you get, you know, just give us some time. We got kids. Really, that's the only thing. At least give us an invitation. It's the kids. You know, <laughs> just give us time. 
And like he said, it's just the invitation. Like, oh my gosh, they wanted me to go to the club, even though I got to go to work at six in the morning. No, and I wasn't on that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the fact that you thought of me, like, okay, like one day you gonna see me in, but I'm be there. Yeah. And you gonna be like, what? And I'll be like, yeah. Mm -hmm. You never know, but. Lita and G ain't got babysitters to watch us all, watch the kids all day and every day. Uh, we ain't but got no at home. When person. we do, we turn up. We turn up hard <laughs> because you never know when the next time it'll be. We go all the way out. Yeah. So, that. And speaking of that, be considerate. That, that, that was it. Family need boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you most of my family boundaries. got boundaries. I guess that's a little... <laughs> <laughs> I went over top five, but I just, I, I was inspired. You heard what you said. Boundaries, family. I love y'all. But you need them boundaries. You know, I think a few know by now. You know. Especially in the morning. Don't call me talking before 10. Yeah. That's not something that can be talked about after 10. Facts. If there is an issue with me, don't be talking to Susie Q and Quincy and Joe and Sally and Bonquisha. So you expect because let me tell you something, ain't not one of them me, <laughs> and nobody can solve the issue but me and you. So if there's an issue with me. Address it to me. Woman, woman. I mean, woman, woman, man, woman. It don't matter who it is. I'm just saying. You go, you got some more? I think that was it. <laughs> no, I don't have no pressure. I'm just saying, like, that, that was a good one, though. Maybe yeah, we have to get that out. I feel like that was a good, um, Conversation today. Yeah. For, a second, for our second episode, we did good. Hey, hey, like I said, our third episode, we might be in a whole nother location. Oh, we got a backdrop. So yeah, we might. We trying to keep it, keep the little background going. Like I said, this episode was over family and friends, our expectations. Oh, uh, man, we got businesses, so we about to get them shout out. So hey. what's up? Be true hair care. Okay. All natural hair care. Wow. For everyone. You know. Get that soul glow. <laughs> Please get your soul glow. Nah, real talk. I use it in my beard. Hey, that 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 uh everyday oil you got going. What, yeah. what is it called? Um, it is a Fiji Greek hair oil. Yeah, that thing. You can use you it on your hair and your scalp. Popping, pre poo, you know what I'm saying? Hot oil treatment, or just as an everyday thing. Be true hair care. We gotta get you a jingle. Dun, 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 We're gonna get a jingle. Dun. Joe, we need a jingle. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so my business, yes. I have fresh to death cuts. Fresh hey. to death. These cuts is exclusive. I'm not doing no walk-in barbershop where that it ain't the barbershop you see on the TV where you everybody got your business out there dancing all in your videos. <laughs> nah, man, if you want that A1, I don't want to talk to nobody. This is how we rocking. Come on down and press your cuts. You know what I mean? Yes. Uh oh. Try we your babies. We're your baby. So I guess we have to wrap Having up our so podcast. Much fun. Hey, Fresh to Death Cuts, 1515 North Town East Boulevard. Everything and you can is in get the your true hair care products at the Fresh to Death Haircuts. I mean, I'm just saying, go get your hair cut. Oh, yeah. Get your oil, get your conditioner. I mean, hey, it's a three in one pack. Yes, we definitely have everything that you need. Um, I love you. I love you. So, how you think we did good on this episode? I think this was good. And I would love to hear your feedback. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you agree, disagree, or what your expectations is. Your top five for your friends or your family. We would love to hear it out. All right, we got to do it in real life. Our baby is All right, Gigi, we're coming. Hold on, hold on. All right. Until next time.
chapter three. I mean, not chapter three, episode three. Catch you again.